Before we get to the info that you came for, real quick, we have a great freebie you might be interested in. If you head over to fool.com slash start, we are giving away a free investing starter kit that covers everything from opening a brokerage account to buying your first stock. It also includes five amazing stock picks to help get started. Again, that is available for free at fool.com slash start, or you can find it at the link in the description. Thank you so much. Now for the part you came for. To my understanding, directly, no, you can't do that. I think that you would have to have some sort of approved exchange traded fund in order to be able to do that. Would you buy the Grayscale um, series of, of products too, which are actually direct? Oh, so there's two, my understanding is that there's two basic avenues. There are the exchange traded funds, ETFs that are actually, aren't actually buying cryptocurrency, they're buying futures. Yeah. And then there are the Grayscale products which are actually buying cryptocurrency and holding them in their own cold wallet. I believe Coinbase does the, the cold storage for them. Um, I think you're so right. That is, a, that is a direct ownership, but, uh, but slightly different mechanisms. Um, I can't answer directly whether those can be bought in, in retirement accounts, but that would be the two ways to do it. Yeah. The, the other, like, let's say, for example, you were interested in, in, buying and holding Bitcoin. To my knowledge, you can't do that in a Roth IRA, but you could theoretically buy something like MicroStrategy stock, which is <laughs> right. which is basically Bitcoin at this point. Like it's leveraged at, Bitcoin. It's, yeah. At that, yes, you're right. It is leveraged Bitcoin. So um, there, to, to answer your question, Vihan, I would say no would be the answer directly. But there are these little indirect workarounds that would give you significant exposure to cryptocurrency. The other would be um, something like a Marathon Digital Holdings, which right. is also a lot, a lot of Bitcoin on the balance sheet. Um, a lot of the miners would be another one. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the miners are not only generating income from mining Bitcoin, but then also holding that Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So you sort of have, again, it's another leverage play. Uh, Bitcoin goes up, they make more money from their operations and their balance sheet. Uh, Bitcoin goes down, the opposite happens. So uh, mm -hmm. so those would be, and there's going to be more and more products coming to market in the crypto space. Uh, there are, are like almost every week that will probably fit into retirement accounts or different kinds of trading accounts that fit into the um, the, the ETF or, or exchange traded note kind of framework. Um, but they're not, they're not a lot of them uh, available today.